ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. Please press that subscribe button below. We're literally 150 away from 9k, so press that subscribe button, thumbs up, or a comment below would be really appreciated. I hope you like the jerseys in the background. I know it's a fan's favourite, but happy Monday to you all. Took a day off yesterday from vlogging, so let's catch up on the news and talk about what's trending this morning. First of all, the captain. The Callum, Callum McGregor, is injured at the moment. He picked up an injury the other night against Alouette before half time. It looked like a, a cheekbone injury. So, reports coming from the Herald Scotland tabloid that he's going to undergo surgery and he will be sidelined between four to six weeks. I hope that's not true because we do need him for the crucial games against Rangers on the second, Conference League toys as well and crucial league games in there as well. And we have a Scottish Cup toy against Ray Rovers. So, a couple of players that we could get the captaincy. First of all, a lot of people want to go for Joe Hart. Joe Hart is a good nominee to have. He took the captain's arm and the other night when Callum came off. Wealth of experience, playing for Man City, Tottenham, Burnley. He, he knows the situation of being at a big club like Celtic. He gets the club. Not like some players, he gets the importance. He's phenomenal with the fans. He's seen what he done with that little girl the other day with the jotted picture. Unbelievable. The way he speaks about Celtic, his relationship with the manager, with the fans. It's a no-brainer for me. Joe Hart gets it. Even with the European games, he definitely gets it. He's a leader. He's an absolute leader. And you see when he won the League Cup, see the importance of momentum for his career. Even taking the pay cut to leave Tottenham to come to Celtic has been unbelievable. The only fault about Joe Hart is is he's passing distribution of the ball. He just takes too much time and he's going to be cut out. And I've mentioned this many times. It gives me anxiety even talking about it when he gets that ball. So yeah, Joe Hart has to get it. If not Joe Hart, it has to be near Beaton. beaton has been at the club almost 10 years now. He gets Celtic. At the end of the day, he's a winner. He done well the other time against St. Johnston when he had the captain's armband up in Perth. So it'll either be Beaton hard for me there's all points in Julian Julian's not even back in the first team just yet he was on the bench the other night against Alloway so let's see that we have him in contention in the next few weeks fingers crossed because he is an asset for us and he has one year left in his contract so let's play as much for him as we can because if we don't he's got he leaves the club and we make no value on him after buying him for nearly um, 8 million so let's see what happens there Let's talk about Mikey Johnston, a lad that I love, which I don't really love. A guy that's linked with a move to Aberdeen on loan to the end of the season. I've said it many times on the channel, I like to see Mikey Johnston go on loan. Perhaps Hibbs. I thought Hibbs would be a better shout because um, Martin Boyle's at the leave. And I know Martin Boyle plays on the right and Mikey plays on the left, but never say never in football. Um, it looks like Aberdeen are the favourites to consider taking him on loan. It'd be, good. It'd be a good move for him to the end of the season. I think he has made is a point to make because if he goes on loan to Aberdeen and the Jota deal falls through, he'll want to come back hungry and try to win that left mid position. So there is competition there. Moyeda played there the other night as well. So and Koyogo can play there. So let's see what happens with Mikey Johnson. I want him to go. A lot of people will comment below saying we do want him to go on loan. And be one of them people, please. Engagement is crucial in this channel. Do you want Mikey Johnson to go on loan? Or should we keep him in case we get more injuries? Let me know. Another lad that's linked with a move to Kamarnock. They're in the championship at the moment. Derek McInnes Kamarnock is Adam Montgomery. A 19-year-old that's kind of broke through the fourth team this season. He had games last season in the second half of the season. But he can play left back and left wing. I think it's a good bit of business if we get him alone. Nurture him, get him better. And we've seen that one of our last players that went along to Kamarnock was Christopher Oyer. And look what I made him a Celtic, a phenomenal centre back with his runs and his confidence. So, Adam Montgomery, why not send them along? Because left back position, we still have to clear Bonangoli out. Scales is in there, you know, Taylor's in there as well. So, I would go for definitely send Montgomery on loan to the Championship in Scotland, see how it goes. There's been no more transfer rumours, you know, obviously be better bring in Matt O'Reilly. There's talks that I bring on the podcast the other night I done. That we should star Matt O'Reilly in Tynecastle. If McGregor's out, I would star Atate, B. Tom, and O'Reilly in that midfield. Maybe give Tom a rest before he goes on international duty with the Socceroos. 
but you can bring Tom off the bench and can make an impact as well. So let's see what happens with Matt O'Reilly. I think we're excited to see this 21-year-old, six foot one midfielder that played 30 times this season, seven goals and four assists. So we need to see a bit of this guy. There's no point paying 1.5 million if he's not going to feature. He didn't feature the other day because he was only literally in the club of a wet minute. So let's see what happens there. So that's really it. Um, if we can clear out Barkas, there's been no reports about Barkas in the last seven days. Clear out Yeti, clear out Bonangoli, and perhaps Sorrow and Long we're talking because um, let's see what happens because we need to start clearing our players and clearing that clearing that wage bill down as well because we want to start bringing in cracking players in the summer. It depends on how we how we um, finish in the league as well. It'd be quite, if we win the league, we qualify for the Champions League group stages, and that's you know that's a big dollar there. And we want to attract good players for Celtic as well under Ange football. So clear out the dead wood, take them off the wage bill. If the long mills until the end of the season, and then clear them out the end, of, clear them out the end of the season on a permanent happy day. So subscribe to the channel. As I said, I've mentioned it many times. If you subscribe to the channel, once we get to nine thousand, I'm gonna start giving ways every two hundred and fifty subscribers up to ten thousand, and then I'll speak to you all soon. Hail, hail up the Celts.